What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Dwayne Haskins. Uh, he had recently passed. I did a video about that and how not only his his passing, but the fact that his fam is his parents did not go to his funeral, and they did not go because apparently, according to his father, they did not know his wife. They never met her, not while they were dating, not after they got married. And because of that, they did not go to the funeral. And I had some people that actually agreed with that. They thought that that was a good thing to do to avoid your your son's funeral. I believe the Pittsburgh Steelers were hosting. And the wife was there. And it was pretty much about the wife. Let's just be real. And I don't think his family wanted to be a part of that. They, felt, they may have felt like it was a spectacle or they may have not liked his wife. But apparently his ex-girlfriend, Savannah, took the social media to go on a rant about the media lies and, and other things that are going on. She may have re subliminally referenced some people, perhaps his wife. And, you know, I heard some reports about, you know, Dwayne being with another female um, when he had to go get gas. And that's when that particular situation happened. Apparently he was hit by two trucks. Or two cars, two cars. It was one as a truck, and I'm these hit by another car. But um, this is sad all around. And I knew there was more to it. And apparently, the ex girlfriend here, Savannah, was his college sweetheart. They started dating during freshman year, and she actually had posted a video message to him. Now again, they have been broken up for years, and the fact that she posted, she's posting about him. Now, I don't know if she still has feelings for him or she wants to get stuff off her chest. There may be some people who feel like she's trying to utilize his passing to her benefit. But let's get into this article from Game 7. The untimely passing of NFL quarterback Dwayne Haskins shook the league and those who knew him closely to their core. Haskins had, had was struck and killed by at least one vehicle on April 9th of this year while attempting to cross a busy major freeway. The details surrounding the incident are particularly troubling. In the weeks since his death, all hell has broken loose among those who knew Haskins well. First, there was his wife, Calabria, understandable uh, reaction to the tragedy. Then there was his parents' bizarre decision to pick a fight with his wife and not attend their son's funeral. We don't know that. We don't, listen, there, I know that we, that some of y'all may remember the fact that, you know, she put hands on him and she got arrested for that. She was arrested for putting hands on Dwayne Haskins. I, I don't want people to ever forget that. I did a video on that as well. And that might be one of the reasons why they don't like her. Another reason is that, you know, Dwayne lost his job with the Washington football team due to him partying with his wife. So maybe they felt felt like she was a, a bad influence on him. Parents intuition. And they felt like she was not the best for their son. So I think that could play a part into it as well. Even though I have people trying to tell me and argue me down about how there's nothing going on. You sure about that? So why would his parents not attend his funeral? They holding other events in different cities. Why not go there? It's because they don't like his wife. Now this week, a new twist in the case has emerged. Haskins' ex-girlfriend, Savannah, a raw cousin, who the former Ohio State standout once described as a flower he needed to protect, recently took to social media to call out seemingly everyone associated with him for their fakeness. Okay, and this is uh this is the post that she put up to him. You know, he's wearing, I believe, something from her clothing brand. And uh, we'll get to that, we'll get to this post later. But I want y'all to see the screenshots here. And this is according to Wags Unfiltered. It says the media is full of lies. Don't believe everything you read. That's law number one. She also says, seriously, can we please stop with the BS? 
It says, you can lie, but you can't run from God's light. Do the math on it. It don't read. I guess that's what she wanted to say. Uh, and this according to Wags Unfiltered. Now, this is what she posted. There's a video accompanying it, but we'll, we'll get to the video. But this is what she had to say here. I'm having a very hard time processing the way media can portray a great man. Because, you know, I believe Wags Unfiltered is the same blog that talked about how he may or may not have been with another woman right before he lost his life. Or it could be other reports as well. I'm having a very hard time watching fake love. I'm having a very hard time listening to the audio. I guess that's, uh, she might be referring to his wife's 911 call. I am having a very hard time with the way everything played out. Dwayne, this world will never really know the real you. What an honorable man. I am so grateful, humbled, and honored to got to be a part of such a beautiful moment in time. I'm so broken. I will never be able to hear your voice ever again or hear Sav. We met our freshman year of college at the Ohio State University and were inseparable. Something a lot of you don't know is I actually didn't know he played football when we first met. We met for the first time in Union, and you helped me with my English paper. I remember reading over your work like, hmm, he's got a good vocabulary. Well, quarterbacks are very smart. <laughs> Quar you know, a lot of quarterbacks, now you got some that are dumb, but a lot of quarterbacks, for the most part, to play the quarterback position at a high level, you have to be very smart. And I remember looking up at you, and you said, I'm excited to look up in the bleachers at you with my family, but I won't say too much too soon you thought you were a smooth dude we went from the dorm we went from the dorm rooms all the way to apartments at the griff and later to our first home together despite what the media portrays and how they perceive me we both know what it is we were friends first who had each other's best interests at heart and that's what made us so different i wanted the best for you even if it meant that wasn't me. I guess she referring to them breaking up. I guess he may have wanted out and maybe she wasn't the type of girl he wanted. He wanted a girl that would go to the script clubs with him and that's what he got. I will never not love you. I will never forget our car sessions and late nights at the Woody with all three of our dogs trying to plan and prepare for our futures and get it right the first time. I will never forget how hard you love and I will never forget the promises we made to each other. I will miss our pep talks to one another, our life advice we share and, the, and navigate. I pray so hard you found the peace and love you always wanted and deserved. This world did not deserve you. These people did not deserve you. I am at peace now knowing you are finally at yours and I cannot and cannot be harmed by the flesh. God called home a hell of an angel. That's an interesting wording. I'm so proud of you, Dwayne. You did it with the heart emojis and the bird and the hands put together emojis this this female still was in love with Dwayne even though he was another woman and even though he had moved on from her she never moved on from him they may have still been friends and she puts up this video and y'all can see it on the screen she puts up this video highlight highlighting the time that they had together even though they broke up in 2018, I believe, she still cared about him. 2018, 2019, I believe they broke up. She still cared about him. Wanted the best for him. Because she saw the best in him. I guess, you know, young love can do that. And I would not be surprised 
if she confide if he confided in her about his current situation either with his parents or with his uh current wife and that maybe she thought that one day they will get back together but Dwayne chose to marry the woman that he was with until his until he passed so you can't really say that he had no plans on leaving that woman but she saw a part of she saw him in a way that maybe others didn't and that that listen that happens with young love it seems to me that Dwayne Haskins was the best thing that ever happened to her that's how it seemed it seemed like Dwayne Haskins was the best thing that ever happened to her why do you think you see let's say look at Kanye West and, and Julia Fox Julia Fox still talking about Kanye because Kanye was the best thing that ever happened to her Women, when they're around a guy that has potential, that grow and progress into something great or is able to accomplish a big accomplishment, women love to attach themselves to that. Now, I don't know why their relationship ended, but it's obvious that he may have wanted out more than she did. She looks like your typical good girl, cute good girl that you have at the beginning of your career, but five, ten years into your career, she ain't there no more, you know? He done been with two, three other women since. Probably got a baby mom in the mix. The one thing I can say about Dwayne, he never had children. And maybe he was unhappy with his wife. Maybe he was unhappy with his, with his parents. And that's why she's talking about fake love. And he may have confided in her. They may have still been friends. And that's why she feels the way she feels. It seems to me they may have still been in touch with each other. The way that she's speaking about him. But ultimately this is sad because a young man that had so much potential. 24 years old. This guy was drafted when he was what? 20, 21? Into the NFL? Highly recruited football player. Playing at the Ohio State University. At a high level. Gets drafted. Ultimately, not to reach, that, reach the potential that he could have had. But he was probably on his way back. We never will know. We never know. But ultimately, hopefully, things can, people can go in their own directions and heal. She seems like that she feels like he got the peace he wanted. But you got to ask yourself the question. What peace did Dwayne need? What peace in his life that he needed that he wasn't getting from his wife? that he wasn't getting from his family. Those are ultimately the questions that are going, that may never be answered, or maybe they will. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I will see y'all on the next one.